A local woman's online SOS is helping a nonprofit feed pets with homeless owners. The organization Street Dogs is in dire need of cat food. 8 News Now reporter Karen Castro explains how one community is stepping in to help. It all started with a post on the app next door. A volunteer for Street Dogs asking her neighbors in a Henderson subdivision for cat food donations. Heidi Williams never imagined the response she would get. I mean, this just shows you what people will do and go out of their way for. These people didn't have to do this. They did this out of the kindness of their heart, and it's so much appreciated. People were even asking what kind and brand. Williams says anything helps. But honestly, we need quantity over quality because we have a lot of clients that we need to feed. This is incredible. Her front porch is now filled with much more than just cat food. I've got ferret stuff, gerbil balls, coats. Some of her neighbors have even come back twice. You know, they knock on my door asking me for help because they have their cars loaded with it. William says this will all go to homeless people with a furry friend. Street Dogs is running extremely low on cat food, and the nonprofit believes no pet should be surrendered for a lack of resources. I have watched a homeless man's dog while he went into a church to get food, um, dental, and clean, cleaned up, and she sat next to me and stared for him. She missed him so much, and that was her world. Heidi believes the donations on her porch may last for about eight days, but the act of kindness of the people she calls her neighbors and the notes they're leaving behind will last a lifetime. The notes that these people are leaving are bringing tears to my eyes. They're like thanking me for everything I'm doing, and I'm saying I didn't do any, I just posted a post. It's them that came through. It's them that supported it. It's them. They're the ones that are the heroes. Karen Castro, 8 News Now. Street Dogs goes beyond feeding pets. They also help with spay and neuter, emergency surgeries, as well as housing. And their services are also available to low income and the elderly. To learn more about their good work, check out the online version of this story right over at LasVegasNow.com.